Charlottetown Earl is where smiles go to die. 
That's also a fact. These turtles could have across sponsorship with no Photoshop whatsoever. So, without further ado, here are our nominees.
Good boy, Ben. Oh, well done. Well done. Race 
Grant, as you know, died a couple minutes ago when the White Twins destroyed him on stage. Grant? So if you can, stand up if you can't see, you feel free. Grant? After that colossal L you just took, how do you feel? Well, uh, personally, I just feel like we just didn't do good enough at it, you know? We didn't uh, let people know we were in the running. Right, right, you like sports. Uh, anyway, Daisy... <laughs> Daisy, you clearly uh, weren't a fan of that comment, or were you? Do you like, uh, are you happy with Grant right now? That's what I'm going to ask. Uh, I mean, at least everyone knows me. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Finally, finally, Alex, I one more thing. Chris Brandon, Chris Brandon was nominated for this award for Best Siblings. Can you come, actually, here in a little bit? And I believe you cried something out as the nominees were uh, announced. What was that? It was great. Uh, there's always next year. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! This win! Alright, after everyone settled down a little bit, we're gonna do a game next. So we're actually gonna need four volunteers. Hands up, hands up. Alright, I'll pick, um... I'll pick, I feel bad for Grant, let's pick Grant. I'll pick, uh... Um, I'm gonna pick Nicole. Oh, Nicole, Nicole, okay. I'll pick, uh... Can we get a great 10? Any great 10s? Want to? I'll see you great 10 right now. Um, Maria Brown, do you want to? Yeah! Ian Pear, do you want to? Yeah! Let's, let's get Vanessa up here. Nice, nice. Um, how are we gonna do this? I guess you guys can all stand over here. They gotta see this screen. And so uh, everyone can see your gorgeous faces and gorgeous outfits tonight. Who's best dressed for us up here? Alright, so the game we're doing is the teacher guessing game. We're gonna have some pictures of some Colonel Gray teachers up here. And you're gonna have to guess who they are. There are pins. I'll keep score. Yep. And then the person with the most correct guesses, I guess, wins. What she said. <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> All right. They could have been nominated for cutest couple. Ooh, that's a good clue. Vanessa? Miss and Mrs. Cockle all around. It's an Alright, let's see. Oh. Wow. That's an L. Another L for Graham. Over two. This is just not his name. Sure. Alright, let's go to the next one. They were born the same year. Any guesses from the crowd? Let's hear some. No guesses from the crowd? Great. Right? You guys lost your voice?
Yeah, we're just gonna we're ejecting Ian right now from this game. Thank you. Grant was in the third place. What do you think it is, Grant? <laughs> All right, roll it. This is Barrett and Miss Bradley. Oh, Mrs. Bradley, very nice. I like that uh, pop tart dress. Did anyone get it? No. Great haircuts from both of them. Yeah. 
happening in one country. Right. Which one? Which one is the direct photo? Which one are we guessing? <laughs> the guy or the girl? The guy. The, the man. guy. The guy. Alright, so the guy in the right photo and the girl looking a little disappointed. But I don't know if actually that who cleared that photo. That's quite revealing. Alright, so uh, actually we're gonna go Grant first. Grant?
you know, it probably would have been a good idea to have one of these nominees uh, design our set. It kind of looks like crap. Uh, all the individuals are uh, some of the best artists on the gray. And they uh, keep our hallways and displays very nice. All right. Well done. Yeah, a lot of jokes have been at his cost today, but it's handled pretty well. 
Awesome. Next up is uh, a fun award. But as they say, good things come in twos. So this next award is the Dynamic Duo Award. Will the presenters for Dynamic Duo please come to the stage? I believe it's a couple of hooligans. Oh my god. Look at All the way at the back. Oh, oh good looking my. guys. Couple <laughs> dull guys. I don't think, they don't even know who they are right now. Give it up for uh, these, these idiots. Look at that little mask. I hate these guys. Where's your what? <laughs> this is gonna be good. There's speeches in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse. Yeah, here comes, uh, he's gonna be coming out in a wheelchair, I mean, just, 
and you could like maybe give him some change on the way by, anything to prepare him for his like, oh my god. Just, I, a couple pity claps, yeah, pity claps. That's not nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. I'm really sorry. But it, he brought it upon himself. I mean, in the end, just, you deserve this. Boy. <laughs> Let's keep things moving, though. This next award, oh, this is a good award. It is a, most likely to be found in the cafeteria during class. And I believe it will be presented by very own Miss uh, LaCours. Correct? Woo! Uh, she, knows, she knows these guys like the back of her hand. But she's uh, always getting them out of trouble.
this evening along with four of Colonel Grief's most notable rascals. The biggest troublemaker category is for students who have ex executed a variety of outrageous acts, but they're all in good fun, with the hopes of garnering a few laughs in the short term and perhaps establishing a compellingly shareable story in the long run. So this well-intended outrageousness generally occurs when students combine humor, planning, and timing, along with knowing when not to do it. <laughs> to that, being, being a troublemaker, among other troublemakers in the same classroom, I noticed, is highly competitive by nature, and only the biggest troublemakers with the most daring stunts are nominated by their peers for this category. And the nominees are Jake McCallum, <laughs> Bella Seafood, <laughs> Go Really Hard, <laughs> and Matt Doyle. <laughs> I miss you. Good to be here. Yeah. Sort of. Thanks. Thanks for giving me a word, buddy. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, K-Mac. I think you're good to go. See you later, buddy. Thanks again. Take <laughs> care. Hey. How's everyone doing? Great. See you later, K-Mac. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Personally, I think I cleaned up my act this year, but what can you do? How about we just talk to Kevin for a bit? I think See I you, would, would like to do that. Oh, sure. Kevin, talk to us. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> we just. He's presenting the award. <laughs> all right, thank you guys. I love you all. That went really well, yeah. That was pretty awesome. I mean, great to see uh, good old k Mac again. And just like that, he's gone like he's never in here. He's a gentleman and a scholar. This is trouble man. Oh, crackers.
wish to outlive opponents. The nominees are Connor Crosby. Yeah. 
Because then I have to say, go back, go back. No, who is me? Go song is it? The light's off again. Are we actually? Yes, you're actually. The light's off. Is this actually happening right now? Yeah, we're good now. What song? What song? What song do you want? No, 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 no,
Alex Sorensen.
Joey, yeah, Joey, you good? Yeah. It's party in the USA. Alright, we need Joey Hood on stage. He's gonna be joined by Chloe and Mackenzie Cooper for party in the USA. He's a solo.
All right, everyone can take their seats now. Slow pose.
I make a speech, uh, just a humble brag, top tenor. Day in the books, right? <laughs> Alright, that's all I have to say. Thanks a lot, guys. I thought I was talking. Tessa, <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna have to take it down a couple notches. He's like, oh, get that reference, friends? Anyone? Ross, friends?
Jake and I were playing battleships and we stopped upstairs. It's okay, it's a good story. We're having a good time. Battleships. <laughs> it's uh well battleships as you know. That's that's a ship. That's a ship, a boat, canoe. That's your final warning, sir. A canoe, a boat, battle canoe. <laughs> We're having a good time, Jake screaming, yelling B4, C5, whatever. <laughs> Bathroom stall upstairs next to Blair Wary's room. And we're interrupted by a knock and a familiar voice. And that familiar voice shall remain nameless, but you know who you are, Miss Noring? <laughs> this anonymous teacher <clears throat> uh, knocked on the door, said, Boy, it's way too long in there. <laughs> me, <laughs> me and Jay in a panic. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it got the hell out of there. And sure enough, sure enough, she was there with her arms crossed and a stern look. Can we please get off the award, like, for all of us? Can we get off it? Like, come on. Uh, at the end, Boys Will Be Boys, <coughs> Boys Will Be Boys Quieter was the final product. Good story, Jesse. Good story. And now for the nominees. That's the winner. That's the winner. Oh. <laughs> All right. Nominees are. Jesse McQueen. Chloe McMillan. Got in the bag. He got in the bag. Jordan Khan. Go, buddy. Caitlin Wood. Surprise. All right. The winner is. Chloe Bombshell McMillan.
and a kid, Joey. The public speaking has never been your thing there, big guy. Coming up next, our next award, actually, it's right done. You're done? Ooh. Hopefully, uh, are you guys ready for a dad joke? Yeah. Absolutely. You guys hear about the kid napping in school? It's okay, it's okay. He woke up. <laughs> In my victory lap. Not like yours, Rand. Uh, you got a different kind of lap. <laughs> Ten months, buddy, in the slammer. Joey will be there with you. All right. Most likely to be caught sleeping in class. Presenters, come on up. That's working. gaming in the wee hours of the night, or some teachers simply tucking them in with their soothing voices, these kernels always seem to be drifting off, uh, dri drifting off. Your nominees for most likely cost sleeping in class are... Cat and McCory. Yeah. <laughs> Nap time Noonan. Yeah. Tired Tommy Tao. And sleepy South Farag. <laughs> Hopefully, John and Alex haven't John and Alex haven't set them off to La La Land quite yet. If they're awake to hear this, please stumble up onto the stage. This award goes to <laughs> Josh Catnat McCory. <laughs> Sports fans in here? Game one of the NBA Finals is tonight. Warriors. 
Lakers or Cavs? Cavs. Warriors in four. <laughs> oh. Well, Colonels, love has been in the air this year, and it's absolutely disgusting. Let's back it up. You're good. And it's absolutely disgusting. I came here to enhance my knowledge, not watch Nicholas Sparks movies in the hallway. You crazy crits have no self-control. Here are the nominees. Ida Maria. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy and Grass. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Bradley and Ava.
Last one, John. They traveled all the way from the back of the parking lot to be here. <laughs> so nice for the past few years. And for keeping your home, Mr. Cole, right, Mr. Cole? That's not Mr. Cole, very busy. Speaking of which, if you, if you, do, if you do have your vaping apparatus on you this evening, make sure that that vaping apparatus is not in sight, not in your desk, and in your backpack vaping apparatus. Um, so with the clouds rivaling Hurricane Katrina, well, the winner of this award, step out of the haze at the back of the cafeteria. Our winner is... Middle name's Babe, Jared Thanks for coming out, units. We're done. Don't look out there, uh...